Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are back here in our Building with Whip world, and today we got to bridge this gap. That's right, we are working on a bridge that is going to be going across here because as you can see our castle is way off there in the distance and this is the road that will be connecting the castle up to the rest of the world. We built this road on a stream a while ago and yeah, so we just kind of, or we didn't build the road, we built the, we designed the path that it's going to be going on. So it goes all the way down here and you can kind of see it teetering off in the distance then it goes way over in this direction. And let's see, can we get up here? Yeah, so it gets all the way over there and there's a dark oak forest over that way. And that actually links up with our farming village of White Glen that we made a long, long time ago, which I think is a really cool way that we can connect in everything in this world as far as what's on this continent. So what I wanted to do with this guy was make a bit of a diagonal bridge right here. And I'm thinking we're gonna bring it down. So both sides have to come down like a block or two, maybe not on this side. Maybe not. What if we just went like this? And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a line straight across here with this guy. And it's gonna be a flat bridge, so there's not gonna be any slope to it. And I think that'll actually help make it look interesting and nice and kind of just work with whatever we got going on here. So if we did something like that. And so we have this as our pathway right here. And let's say we did, Probably we want this right here and then what if we went and did something and made it about a little bit wider than that. So we need to bring that guy to right here. And if we did a bridge that's that wide, that I think that's a good that's a good size for what we got going on here. We at least for the walking area. I think the walking area needs to be at this at least this wide so like you could imagine like a cart going through this area, if that makes sense. That's that's what I try and think of it when I'm building bridges is like, will it, because this is gonna be like the main route on land to get to the castle. So obviously they're gonna need to get carts and stuff going across here. So like, is this big enough to take a cart through? And also basically when it's scaled, is it the similar size to our castle over there? Which that is actually seven wide. So we might wanna make this a little bit larger. You know what? Let me go ahead and figure out a plan and I'll be back with you guys here in just a few. Okay, so all I did here was I ended up bringing it actually out just one more on both sides. So I think it's what? One, two, three. Oh, hello. <laughs> One, two, three, four across and then three. So it's kind of like a weird diagonal. It'll be about four wide, five wide, but you know, cause diagonal, it looks way bigger. Um, yeah. So what I want to do here, because this is technically where a river would go through. So if there's like a major flood season, it would actually probably not be, or we don't want to do like a solid, solid bridge going across the bottom. So we still want to give it that nice slope bridge look to it. So what we're gonna go do in here, sorry, this movement is just not working out well for me today, is we wanna go ahead and bring these guys in like this, uh, well, yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work on this side and I think the middle of the bridge, we're gonna call the middle of the bridge right here. That's where we're gonna call the middle and then we can mirror it on the other side. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do that and here we're actually going to go ahead and drop that down another actually we probably want that to be three so we want to go ahead and do so what i'm thinking the cobblestone in here is we're actually going to go ahead and probably have that turn into like some andesite or something here in the near future and we're, what we want to do here is like make it kind of sloped down and looking like it's got some nice slope and arch to it trying to make a very natural looking bridge design here so something like this and then we brought this guy down like that and then maybe we bring out the that and that that could that's yeah we could do something like that and then maybe we go with these guys in here right there and then over here we can bring in that cobblestone again and i think that might actually make a pretty good shape to the bridge so we do that right there and so we're using the stone brick basically as a way of being a protective arch to it go ahead and get rid of this guy get rid of that guy and bam and bam and then on this side it's gonna be a little bit different just because we want the shape of the bridge to be consistent but we still want it to be making sense so the big part is we want to make sure that it's not actually showing dirt through here and it where it needs to be cobblestone or where it needs to be stone brick we want to make sure we fill in those areas in and i'm thinking something like that is going to be a good arch for us yeah i think that'll be good i think that's a good starting shape for the bridge 
What we could do though to make it look a little bit thicker is do something like that almost and then like that and that and that. Actually, yeah, I like that a lot more. That That's looking good to me. So then what we can do in here is I have some moss stone and some andesite. We can go ahead and bring our andesite in and just make a little bit like there and something up here and bam and bam and bam and then maybe just do like a little because it's going to be a wet in this area because we're in a swamp right now so we want to have a little bit of mossy moss stone in here but yeah you guys can see the general idea let me go ahead and do that on this side over here as well and get the base idea set up on the other side and i'll be back with you. all right well the bridge is looking a little bit different now or not not a whole lot basically i got this side placed in here as well and it's looking pretty solid i do like it I think it's pretty good. Next thing I gotta bring you guys in for, or I wanna bring you guys in for, is basically how these bridges usually worked was there's underneath here, you basically would take like this, this basically the stones would be piled up and this is how it would kind of go across the area. Uh, is that right? No. Okay, so two need to be up here actually, sorry. Uh, like that and that and there. And so we're basically just trying to make a covered area underneath here where all of these stones that we have can just more or less just come through here and they're the way bridges were made i'm sorry i'm trying to think about how to say this is stones are basically stacked on top of each other and sloped into the center until they were basically just at the point where it would if they collapsed into the center like falling over from there to there, they would create an arch, and that's kind of how the first bridges were made. Fun, fun fact there from fun fact by Whip. Um, probably not my fun fact, but you know that's kind of how bridges were made in the past. That's why you'll see a lot of people making now like those cool rock structures and things like that. That's how bridges were made. Um, like that was one way they did it. Obviously, there's more, but yeah. So that's what we're trying to make it look like we did down here just to give it that extra sense of realism and that extra kind of cool feature. Then what this also allows us for is to do some more interesting detailed bits on top. Because now, if you guys know, we don't have a hollow floor anymore, which means this area can be things like gravel. And like, maybe not right now, but you know, we can come back in here and put some, well, rip. <laughs> we can come in here and put some gravel in and mix in the top of this guy, mixing up the textures a lot. So let's go ahead and just kind of dig out a bunch of areas. And we got to mix in some gravel and we got to mix in some uh, coarse dirt. And because that's the majority of what the pathway is gonna be made out of is these three blocks in here. So we want to make the bridge kind of look like that stuff was dragged across it. You're like, yeah, originally it was made out of stone. It was probably made purely out of stone to begin with. But over time, as travelers would come through, say there's gravel over here, some horse carriage would kick a rock over. Then what? what's the next one do? Kicks another rock over. And that just kind of keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. And eventually a bunch of stuff gets on the bridge and gets all the way across it. And so that's what we're really trying to show here. So you can kind of see on this area, we're just basically something like that. It's gonna be small. This These sides bit, we won't have as much on the sides because like a carriage wouldn't be there. So we're basically with the course dirt, we're gonna do them in lines exactly where the carriage wheels would be. So maybe we might do another coarse dirt or something right in here. And then down here, we can go ahead and do a gravel. And here we can do gravel, gravel probably. And it's gonna be nighttime. Let me get this stuff in place and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. All right, so we got this pathway in here pretty well. I think it's got a decent amount of variation to it. And I was working on actually bringing it out over on this side here, kind of working on that transitionary bit, but that's gonna improve quite a bit. Anyways, what I wanna bring you guys in next for was actually working on building kind of, I guess you'd call it the railings or the guardrails or whatever the heck you want to call it. But we actually need to throw a craft table down over here and pick up a few stairs. And we can go ahead and do some stuff like this. So what I wanted to do here, we're going to kind of make this up as we go. But I wanted to kind of get something going, get these nice lighter highlighty bits. And I'm thinking these are honestly going to go like the whole way. If we did every two, how would that look? Cause it's gonna be this guy right here is gonna be there and it's gonna be, so it's not quite even, but I think we can do two and two. And so two, two, and then there's a two gap in the middle. So that'll work actually really, really well. Um, but I think if we go ahead and do something like this, it gives us just like a nice little opening area where we can have some nice stuff going and we can go ahead. Did I bring, I did bring walls with me. Hey, would you look at that? So right on the ends here, 
We can obviously go ahead and throw some torches down on top of these guys, which we do have enough torches. Perfect. And this allows us to get some extra sense of depth into here. I was originally thinking about doing this crazy thing where the sides were going to be coming up crazy high arched and they would probably be about like that high and then like there and then just kind of like smooth sloping it out. But I was like, no, then you ruin the view of while you're walking across the bridge. And so I really didn't want to do that. And so I figured we could spend the rest of our effort on in this video because I think this bridge is actually pretty solid. What we could do beyond this though is maybe go ahead and grab like, I don't know, we could potentially do something like that and that and then here they could maybe come up into the middle and then these can be going out and out and then like come up into the middle like that. So it creates like a nice little arched area almost and then they're actually all not spawnable, which is great. But that kind of is all I really had going for the bridge here. We could come in maybe and like buff up the sides where some rocks piled up on the side, maybe over there. Maybe we got like a few little guys right there and just stuff like that. And it just kind of roughens it up a bit and helps us with that whole transitionary feel. Uh, it looks like an older, older bridge now that we've roughed it up. And we could even go ahead and do that now that I'm thinking about it. We can go ahead and even do that like down here and that. Like right here, if we have some little areas where like the rocks have chipped down because they've been worn out. If only we could fill this, like do a half block of gravel <laughs> like in there or something, that'd be kind of cool. But that's not allowed in Minecraft because everything has to occupy a full block. So let me go ahead and swap my inventory around with some other stuff. And I want to come through here and actually add a bunch of vegetation and stuff to this underside and make it look really mossy and a lot of growth and all that cool stuff. So I'll be back with you guys in a few. All right, so I ended up not getting quite as much stuff as I was really hoping we had, but I went ahead around and got up a bunch of like leaves and stuff that we just kind of had lying around. And this is actually kind of cool. I went ahead and mixed in Joppa's new textures into here just to play with them for a bit with the flowers. So like this is the blue orchid now. That one's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have messed around with this pack very much yet. It's been out for a little while now. But I finally decided to start moving those flowers over. I thought it'd be kind of cool just to mess with them here for a while, see what they look like. We got Oxide Daisy right there. But yeah, they're all just slightly different tweaked versions. The rose bush actually I really like compared to the original one. The original one is basically all that green shade. Now you have a bit the darker shades and everything, and it looks a lot better and actually looks like a rose bush instead of a big bright green blob with some stuff going on. So we got dark oak leaves, we got oak leaves, we got acacia leaves, and I think we got some spruce leaves too. So I think it's time that we go ahead and just kind of plot these guys in around here. And I want to go ahead and make it look like it's just very, very overgrown in this valley area down here. So we're going to go ahead and do a lot of different colors of leaves. I'm actually, I don't think we really want spruce in here. Spruce I think is too much. I think acacia with the oak will be, in the dark oak will be just fine. So I wanna go ahead and get like some of these guys down in here. And we wanna make it look like it's really, really moist and wet and a lot of stuff is growing down in this area. So there's gonna be a lot of things going on, a lot of different cool stuff. And I will check back in with you guys after I get some base leaves placed down and we got a general idea of what things are gonna look like. So I'll be back with you guys in just a few. So the color of these freaking leaves are making me wanna build like some dark evil swamp town or something because they're so freaking dark. It's really, really cool. It's really kind of messing with me, but I, I'm really happy with it. But yeah, so we got it. these leaves kind of played in over here. I didn't do it on that side yet, but I think that's okay. And what I actually want to do for starters, let's go get a bucket of water, is I would love to actually incorporate a few little stalks of like sugar cane down here at the base just so they can kind of grow up. So we can do some water right there, place that guy back and place the sugar cane in. So we can do that in a few different locations. I think it'll turn out to be kind of cool to have a few of them dotted in here and there, you know, just kind of to have a like, just so we can show that there's like some sugar cane growing in this area. Like sometimes when it is very, very wet and rainy and all that stuff or whatever, the water comes up to this level, it's able to actually like have enough moisture in this area for sugar cane to grow because that needs a direct water source. So I think it'd be kind of cool to mix that stuff into here. So yeah, beyond that, we got a bunch of these lilacs and things and I just kind of dot them around and just make this whole area pretty colorful this whole the point of this road is to like you guys remember the last road we did probably where we connected up white glen to papyrus our desert city to our farming village and wow i did that side and that side i didn't do that one or that one that's uh <laughs> go me i guess 
Um, but yeah, so we did a lot of work on that pathway. If you guys remember, we did, I think we did over two whole episodes for the path, which is pretty crazy because it's, it was a freaking pathway. Um, but yeah, so I want to go ahead and keep doing a lot of things like that and make sure this one's like super highly detailed with a lot of stuff going on. And just so we can have a lot of different colors and things and points of interest along the pathway, just so it's not a boring journey of where you're just getting from destination one to destination two. So I want to have like a purpose for this going on there. And that's kind of by bringing in these spots of very high color detail. That's way too many blue orchids. <laughs> that's a lot. This new blue orchid texture is very bright. Um, that is one thing I'm noticing. It's very, very bright. So we can have our nice dark and light contrast going on here, but we can go ahead and get rid of like 90% of these. And let's see what that looks like now. Okay, that is more manageable. That is much better. But literally if we went and did like the same thing with the leaves on this side, like just look how much brighter they are. Like that's dark oak, that's dark oak, and that's dark oak. Like what? <laughs> it's insanely different. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and just dot in a few leaves over here. And this is kind of the, what I wanted to do with this area really is just do a lot of this type of stuff. So let me go ahead and get some work done so you guys aren't just watching me place leaves like crazy over here. Well, all right guys, I think this is gonna do it for today. So I went ahead and added in a few rocks all over the place. There's just a few in here randomly. Put some coarse dirt going down the middle and some grass path just to give a little bit of variation to the base making it look like there's somewhat of a pathway going through, like people could be using it during the dry season or something to kind of get below the bridge if they need to move around. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. I went ahead and kind of cleared this area out a little bit, make it a little bit smoother and easier to get around. And I'm really happy with how this bridge turned out in today's episode. Anyways, guys, that is going to have to do it for the episode today. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. If you guys have any suggestions or things like that to be doing along the pathways, be sure to let me know that down in the comments. It's always awesome hearing back from you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.